speaking in all the tongues. Yep. Um, so right now the grading of let's return to grade for quiz results for multiple projects. Treats each project as a separate objective. So we get a, a separate report of 30 percent of these projects, 60 percent on this one. Uh, now we want to go down a little deeper and say separate objective for every single quiz question. I don't know if I know enough to use their terminology. I don't know if objective is right. When he talked about it, um, let me look up the note because he did use some specific language. There's interactions and there's objectives. Uh, and objectives, interactions, I believe, have to be like, attached to an objective. All right, let me look at my notes. Yeah, he kept referring to them as question answer pairs. The way I've seen from like the people who make scorn.com is using interactions, which have a description and a user result field. So you use the description for the question and the user result for the answer. Okay. And those are like linked to a, an objective ID. Okay. So that seems to be the way to do it. Um, <laughs> just, you know, it'll be get rid of the quest or the project level objective, which we have never used. Yep, we just put it in there. Um, that seems to make sense. So, maybe I think we'll look this around with Will and anybody else to see if Paul okay. wanted to think about it. If, if, yeah, if you want to add some of that to whatever Confluence page there is and then yeah, I'll, just I'll use that to iterate the thoughts. Like it okay. So it's an interaction and there's a description and a user response. That makes sense yeah. for what he was describing. Okay, cool. Can you get nine options? Have you sorted out what the so it's the answer you made is I thought she wrote the answer to myself at the end of it. So that's good. It's great. I'll show you. Uh, there's a little title description. Cool. You can use the Okay. And then the next the next like thing that you're wanting to know the issues that we saw is if you can sort out what those numbers mean so you're comfortable with the yes segment. Can you send me an example of a different reading profile that you're used to working? 
Yeah, I just don't know what the normal format looks like. So, so, I like, okay. so. so at the end of these things, oh yeah, okay. So these aren't these aren't TS files. Um, uh, no, this puts us to a playlist, right? And key playlist index and three. Oh, so there may be another level of abstraction. Oh, there are a whole lot more levels. So that's what <laughs> HLS does. Is it, so that's, those are the renditions. So these are probably for different sizes. I might even say right on them. So here's the thing: is I thought, I thought these were the different. So this is the file list. Yep. And these are the different renditions. So then I requested just this. Okay. And that's what I have in the browser right there. So that's why I thought it was. And See, if we search for .ts, static .ts, that might be it. It might be. Oh, yeah, it's a file, then it's a .ts. So is it? So maybe each one of these. Is you it, to pull one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, it probably will, it probably will get mad at you, because they'll be like, I think yeah. the time out of the or something. So try to play it as an end before. There we go. Okay, okay, so it is the TS file. Okay, so you were right. So this might be easier. You might have figured this out. Um, so we got 273, 274. This is actually perfect. This is exactly what we need. So these, Oh, I see right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that gives us the current. Yeah, that gives us the current. Um, and then we've got the target duration. I don't know. This other stuff is too yeah, but this will work. This, this actually will work just fine. And, um, if we can know... Which one? I think this can work well. I'll do. All I did was a little bit of googling and yeah. piece together some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll write up what I found. Okay, but no, this is great because the ones I was looking at, maybe I was looking further off, but it was something like I think it was the iPads, and there wasn't any. Yeah, there wasn't yeah. any rhyme or reason as to which one was which. Um, yeah, but that's <laughs> let's get numbered. Yeah. IPad 91, which has to do with the rendition itself. Oh, okay. I, I, don't, I don't know if this numbering is consistent, right? Or it's, but it, but it kind of sounds like it did. The examples were always 94, 95. Yeah. You know, so there might be multiples. But when it comes down to the actual manifest file, we don't actually care which renditions are listed. <laughs> no, we just yeah. care what the current like, one's signing is. Yeah. Um, and so, that's only assuming it's an offset between, which it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm streaming right now. Yeah. That's um, pretty cool. And so then... <laughs> Do you have to use an API key and stuff to do it, or...? No. <laughs> nope. That's pretty cool. Just passed it. Yeah, they, they'll, they'll definitely... Yeah. Down. Yeah, you too. I, I've heard... I've, I think I've heard of this one before. Yeah, you. yeah. And I, I, I looked around, it. and, like, everyone uses this. Yeah. Yeah. So See, they probably they probably don't mind, but you know, until people start ripping their YouTube red or whatever it is. Um, but they might even have protection. That's cool. Anyways, it's some, yeah, it's something. Well, here's my thought. Since that demo that you have, I can manually input an in HLS. Yep. I can start my YouTube stream. I can run this offline and type it in. Yeah. And then theoretically. We should say no. Uh, the, the only difference would be just in terms of how oh, but it never updates. Or we, we still have to keep it in. Let me see the, 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 the same file keeps coming back. I guess I didn't test that. I want to see more segments. Right? Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the big change I'd see is that. Um, it's just the parse. We just have to parse these different things and parse and we'll parse the bytecode segments. Um, <laughs> Why doesn't it have more segments in it now, though? Uh, it does it Are the numbers different? 607, yeah. Oh, it's because the... Yeah. Sorry, I guess I would have expected this file. No, 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 no. So this is the maximum segment length. So it only has three segments in it, which is oh, surprisingly I see. small. 
It's it's kind of what we get. I told you the ultra low latency yeah. option. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. So this is three one second segments. Right. Got it. Right. So there's only three sets of buffering. So that's um, what I see. Six and nine, and it's just increments. And that's how many segments. But that's how it, it lets it move forward fast. Because each one of those segments is tiny. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And seconds. it's got right here. It says the duration. Yeah. One second. second. Yeah. yeah. But they're like 50, 50 kilobytes or something. Yep. Um, which is really small. Um, so okay. it keeps the overall buffer very zero. But very cool. Okay, well, yeah, it's something to yeah. play with later on. Cool. Sorry to distract you. No, no, no. Is it up?